So as you know, we're not fans of Rick Wilson here uh, on Rising. I think he's a grifter. And somebody over at CBS on Stephen Colbert's show, maybe even Colbert himself, given how well he dunked on W at the time. Yes. They engineered one of the most perfect ambushes of Wilson that I have ever seen. And it calls him out just all of his hypocrisy to his face. He clearly gets very uncomfortable during the entire interaction. We can only play a little bit of it for you here for copyright reasons. Let's take a listen and then we will react. He is, mm. he is unquestionably the worst president in our history. We agree with you, Rick. Trump's failures are much, much worse than George W. Bush's. I mean, Trump is responsible for bad deficit increases, bad corruption, bad racism, and bad countless deaths. But George W. Bush, on the other hand, is responsible for good deficit increases, good corruption, good racism, and good countless deaths. <laughs> <laughs> the good racism and the bad racism. I mean, look, I don't agree with that, but I'm more saying, like, more what he's saying is he's like, so good deaths and bad deaths. The moral equivalence, especially from Wilson and others for trying to whitewash their role in the Iraq war. Right. And then also the best part, I'm not sure if it was in there, is about net roots, right? Where he was like, he called net roots like puny whores or something like that. And they were like, so Rick, when did you realize that those puny whores could be, um, could be milked for cash for donations? I was like, oh my God. God. I was like, these people just <laughs> nuked this man from they went orbit. They went so, so hard. I loved it. Hard. I loved it, it was vintage Colbert yeah, in that really way, was. too. I mean, it really did harken back to some of his best work yeah. during the, the Bush <laughs> era. And it's incredible that, you know, Rick Wilson and all the, and I don't want to pick on him specifically, but the whole Never Trump crew, mm -hmm. that they've really never faced these questions no, before. No, that it's yeah. just like, oh, now that you're against Trump, you're with us, right. and let's just put all of that in the past. There was a lot of bad stuff that happened there that you all were rightfully incredibly outraged about, and that I am still incredibly outraged about. And that doesn't mean that people can't be rehabilitated and change their ways, but these people didn't change their ways. They just had like a new business opportunity yeah, is exactly. all that it is. We're going to have Orrin Cass on <laughs> later in the week or maybe next week to discuss this. But they gave the whole game away when they were like, it's not just about Trump. It's about Trumpism. So they're like, we're going to attack Josh Hawley and Tom Cotton and all these other people. It's like, whoa, 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 wait a second. Your whole case against Trump is he's a morally unfit actor and bought and paid for by Vladimir Putin. So really what it was all about is that they're threatening the status quo by trying to be new. And you're right, they don't get called out enough. I mean, we I did my whole monologue once on Rick Wilson, but I just, just came across my radar. One of the other co-founders, John Weaver, who's attacked Trump on Russia, he ran the John Kasich campaign. In 2019, agreed to lobby for a Russia-owned nuclear energy company against U.S. sanctions on Russia, inking a $350,000 contract, plus $40,000 a month if renewed, and had to register as a foreign agent of the Russian government. In 2019, do you think these are principled people or you think they're grifters who are taking money? And the best part of that montage that Colbert team put together was all these MSNBC people be like the Lincoln Project. You have like <laughs> Tiffany Cross and Donnie da Deutsch and all these other people. I have no, no nothing nicer to say than about them than then to be like, well, I've given money to the Lincoln Project because they're really oh sticking it to God. Donald Trump. And I it's kind incredible. Of, like I almost kind of respect the game because yeah, I do too. They've managed to convince a lot of money, a lot of journalists here and in New York that, you know, they're the ones who are really taking it yeah. to Trump and that's really making, dropping him in the polls. No, you idiots. There's a freaking pandemic and Trump <laughs> hasn't done anything about it. And he's an idiot for himself on TV every single day. People like Rick Wilson have been yelling and screaming about Donald Trump from the beginning yeah, about Russiagate and about the norms and guardrails and right. being respected abroad again. And he didn't move the needle one tiny bit. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the, people have really bought into this idea that it's like the Lincoln Project that's bringing Donald Trump down, which is insane. Another note, and this is just, again, on the vein of who they really are and their hypocrisy versus what their stated values are. Um, a video editor for the Lincoln editor had to resign over a bunch of like terrible tweets he put out about women using the C word and all of these sorts. They were of, old. Let's, so, say most yeah. of them were yeah. old. But again, it exposes like who these people really are and how what they represented them as themselves as in the past is totally different yeah. than what they represent themselves as now. I mean, Rick Wilson before the Trump era was running around with his like Confederate exactly. flag cooler, cooler on his boat. <laughs> so 
just so you know. He's like, the stars and bars, the South will rise again. Just so you also, know what these folks are really yeah, all about. It's pretty amazing. Yeah. Right. Watch the whole video. You will not be disappointed. Thing. It's hilarious. All right. We'll have more rising for you after this.